Hey guys, I've been doing some experimenting with the new SuperView for the Yi camera and I really like the results. Um, with the old SuperView, you were forced to edit your input and output settings with your video editing program and it was really a huge hassle. Uh, but a guy by the name of Waffle FPV has developed a script file that's really as simple as dragging it and dropping it onto your SD card and you're good to go. Um, before you try this tutorial with your own U-Camera, you'll need to make sure that you're on the 1.2.13 firmware, uh, which you can upgrade to your camera simply by using the app, or you can download uh, the software off the internet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to FPV Lab, and uh, I'll throw a link in the description for this. Um, but uh, Waffle has uh, put instructions here on how to, uh, how to do all this. So we're going to want to download the version 4, which is the latest firmware. So go ahead and click on that. Uh, it'll bring you to a OneDrive site. And just click on the uh, file that's located there. Uh, it's a zip file, so you can um, open up the zip file. And you, you can either drag and drop it or copy and paste it to your web or to your desktop. Um, the files will be in there. So uh, he has a, a link for, for every different uh, bit rate here from 18 to 35. You'll need to uh, choose a bit rate that suits your card speed. So if you're using uh, one of those crappy uh, SanDisk cards that everybody uses, uh, you're going to want to go into the 18, uh, 18 megabit. And then uh, if you have a better card, uh, SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme, he's got a full list on the, uh, on the site here uh, for, uh, for popular card bit rates. SanDisk Ultra uh, runs at 18 megabits per second. That's what, uh, what my sample footage uh, was done on in the same bit rate. And then uh, if you have uh, Lexar 633, SanDisk Extreme, uh, Kingston Class 10, anything that'll do a high speed, uh, you'll be able to run the 35 megabits per second on. And then uh, he, has, he has a bunch of different other bit rates in here. Um, that aren't listed on there. If your card is somewhere in between, you know, you, you can experiment. If, if, you're, uh, if your card is not fast enough to run that bit rate, it'll, it'll make a very short clip and then record a new clip, and that's how you'll know the, uh, the bit rate is not good enough. So anyways, um, I, uh, I just uh, recently uh, purchased a, a PNY um, Extreme card, so I'm going to put the 35 megabit uh, firmware on there so I'll go in into here I just plugged it into the computer I'll go into here into the 35 megabit and copy that and then all you got to do is simply paste it in the root folder and uh, that's it you're good to go so once you've removed your card from the computer and got it back into the e camera uh, you'll boot it up you'll notice it'll make a couple of different noises uh, two beeps will be for uh, the script loading off of the SD card and then you'll hear one long beep so here's what it all sound like script and you're good to go so here's some sample footage that I uh, took with the SuperView the other day hope you guys enjoy uh, your new SuperView take care